Hi everyone. I have been getting a lot of questions about the new mock-ups that I've been using in my store because this store it looks completely different from all of my others. And I really wanted to share with you the mock-up supplies that I'm using. So obviously I have been at this for a long time and I am well aware that investing in really high quality mock-ups, basically presentation in general and the way that you present your products, it always pays off in terms of how fast your store will grow and how many sales your products will make because it really gives them the best opportunity to shine as well as it helps your customer to really visualize what they're purchasing because a lot of the time we're just selling pixels or data when we're selling digital products there's nothing physical so if you can show what a final product would look like printed out then that will help your customer really in their mind know what they are buying and feel a little bit more comfortable spending that money with you so I'm going to show you I've got four that I love and I have a lot of mock-ups but I've bought all new ones for this store so basically what I'm doing I'm making sure everything I buy for this store I buy new so I can track all of the purchases and at the end I'm also going to do a full breakdown of exactly what I spent on ads, on mock-ups, on Etsy fees, on everything, because I really want to be transparent about all the costs. So I'm keeping track of this and I can't wait to share that video with you down the track, but let's get started and I'll show you. So this one is half tune. I think that's how you say it, but I've loved this supplier for ages. Everything is beautifully presented, super, super minimal. Now, a lot of these are Photoshop mock-ups. So if you haven't used Photoshop before, this is what Photoshop is. And basically, Photoshop mockups allow you to have that beautiful shadow that you see on quite a lot of my mockups. See how that shadow goes over the invitation? It's really pretty and it makes it look really, really realistic. So that's a Photoshop thing. I This is my working file that I'm currently working on at the moment. So I make sure I make myself a template every time I do a new type of product so you can see this is my program template and I've got all of the different folders in here and everything's organized so that when I go to make more programs down the track it's really really quick for me to do so see this shadow on the side what I can do I've just held control on my keyboard I've clicked on the layer and you can see there's like a smart layer in here and I'm going to double click on this little icon so you can see if I adjust this now to be like say that I wanted to make it like a blue and go save. See how that updates on the mock-up and the shadow is still maintained there. So that is a Photoshop mock-up and you can't do that in Canva, unfortunately, but there's a lot of great Canva mock-ups as well. So if you don't have Photoshop and it's not in your budget, please do not stress. A lot of the supplies that I'm showing you, they include not only a Photoshop file, but also a JPEG. So you can use the JPEG, drag it into Canva. That is not a problem. Anyway, this one, this one is one of my favorites. This one I have spent a fortune with. You'll see a lot of her work in my new store. She is her, she's just so incredibly talented, my goodness. So lots and lots of beautiful, fresh mock-ups. Then we've got CP Co Images. So this is, um, I actually know the story behind the store. I'm pretty sure it's accurate. So this, this photographer, she may still have it, but she, or... I know that she started as an invitation designer. So it was Citrus Press, I think, from memory. And she's got this whole mock-up brand now as well, which is incredible. So I love all of her stuff. Those are new. I'm going to probably <laughs> log off and grab all of those. They're beautiful. Um, another thing to watch for in these stores, a lot of them have promotions. So if you buy like a couple of mock-ups together, you can save quite a bit of money. So really grouping your purchases can be really smart as well. And don't stress too much. Don't stress about taking notes. I'll include all of the links to these in the YouTube video below. And then we've got Smitten Photo Design. Now she is really great because she has some really unique ones. So I know that she has like a beautiful chocolate wrapper. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, look at those. They're really unique. And there's not a lot of those on Etsy either. So she has some really beautiful fresh ones. She has water bottles as well. Oops, spot that wrong. <laughs> Oh, it didn't come up, but I'm pretty sure she does. There we go. And like little juice ones. Oh, they're so cute. Anyway, 
So yeah, I hope that was helpful. One thing to note, like if you are using Photoshop, then obviously you can purchase any of these. If you are planning on using the JPEGs and dragging them into Canva, then just make sure that whatever you purchase is straight on. So don't pick anything which is on like an angle. So see how that's on an angle there? or this, this one here is on an angle, you won't be able to mock that up in Canva because you can only do like a, a flat front on view. So yeah, just pick one like this. That would be very easy to edit in Canva. Hope it's helpful. I would love to know if you have a favorite mock-up supplier, please feel free to drop a link in the comment too. If you're, you have a store yourself, I would love to see that. And if you have one that you purchase a lot of mock-ups from, I would love that as well. Hopefully we can turn this into a bit of a thread or an archive that people can look at all the mock-ups and yeah, it's really helpful. So thank you so much for your time. I'll keep you up to date with my store. Please have a lovely week or a lovely day or a lovely night wherever you are and I will see you guys soon. Bye for now.